I would say certainly what we're seeing uh, in different parts of the world right now, technology has been a huge solution uh, for things like contact tracing and uh, other types of mitigation just to help. Um, I know we've long been advocating not just for trade agreements, but also for harmonizing operating and regulatory environments so we can use technology uh, to benefit our economies, to benefit our citizens. Um, I wanted to um, narrow in on the topic of digitization. Uh, digital tools are the ultimate enablers of borderless business growth, as you would very well know at Western Union. Um, here at the Board of Trade in Toronto, we just completed our first virtual trade mission to China. We've got similar missions going to the Netherlands and Spain in the coming weeks. And we've only been able to do this because of the digital tools at our disposal. And we've launched a new program that's helping businesses integrate those tools into their front, middle, and back offices. In your view, how is the digital revolution changing the global economy? And what do governments and businesses need to be aware of? First of all, congratulations to you with your China mission. That's fantastic. I mean, not many. You were fast. I have to say that you were very fast. You were innovative. You find a solution. The crisis, uh, every crisis creates also, uh, creates also an opportunity. I believe the digitalization change the world to last 90 days speed up, uh, overcame the la next 10 years, what happened at the digitalization. Um, uh, I believe in 90 days, we overcome all the 10, day, 10 years of, uh, um, you know, uh, the obstacles or the speed bumps we have on the way. Uh, the crisis created that. And companies like West Union was ready. Uh, they, we were ready to respond to that. I mean, you know, the companies who ignoring that digitalization have a difficult time. Mm -hmm. And uh, you could see not only in the companies like West Union, also in SMEs, small companies. Uh, to, in today's world, uh, phone, a smartphone is your basically your communication, your translator, your accounting, your uh, payment instrument, your everything, right? And that's the that that's a huge opportunity for many SMEs also, and that. And we have to talk about that. You can be connected with Indonesian furniture exporter immediately uh, from Canada, Toronto, and exchange in daily and, and the cloud translates that, uh, translates that to your local needs. And you create a job in Toronto with that. So this is a huge advantage. We at West Union, uh, I give you an example. Before COVID, pre-COVID, it was about 15% of our transaction was um, digital. Uh, and now after uh, digital initiated means by a phone or by a computer yeah. that people don't go to a location and now it's about 30 percent that's 90 days and that uh, that fast turnaround is one example of many examples and we change adapt our business model at the same time at the same time though digitalization and having a mobile phone is not the answer you have to understand different different economical environments um, in Canada and Toronto, having a digital solution doesn't mean that it will also apply to Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. so, um, you know, to connecting the people in a different uh, needs uh, with different um, uh, way, it's important. The people in Bangladesh have mobile phones. The people in Bangladesh do connect that. At the same time, the needs there, the economic environment is different than in Toronto. Building that bridge, it has been always a strength of Western Union, understanding in 200 countries, the different dynamics of millions of customers and 134 currency has been a big, uh, big advantage. So companies like that, I encourage also companies who are in your circle in Toronto, advice to really understanding the customer needs in different environment and sourcing the digitalization and pushing the digitalization with that environment is, I believe, a good business model.